The Twin Cities and most of Minnesota are once again under air quality alerts. Yeah, the alerts have been happening more and more this summer as wildfires are growing in Canada. You can see on this map right now, air quality is actually worse to our east, but here at home, we're between moderate and unhealthy levels. So CC Gaines is live here in Gold Valley with more on this air quality alert this morning. Hey, CC. Hey, good morning. So as you can see behind me now, that's a little lighter outside. You can see the haze, not as bad as it was a couple of weeks ago when we had some of the worst air quality in the country, but definitely uh, still hazy out and it's noticeable. This air quality alert is in effect until tomorrow at midnight and experts say that's when the air quality will significantly, should significantly improve. Now, if it seems like there has been an unusual amount of air quality alerts this summer, you're not wrong. Take a look here at this tweet the MPCA put out a few hours ago. The agency says this is the 23rd air quality alert in Minnesota just this year, and that's breaking last year's record, or not last year, 2021's record, uh, rather, from breaking uh, that record of 21. So what can you do to keep the smoke out? Well, a unique tip is creating a clear air room in your house. That's just one room, preferably a bedroom, with well-sealed windows so no smoke can get in. While one room with clean air is great, experts say you should really keep all your windows shut. And if you have AC, let the air conditioner run. Many heating and air conditioning companies say they're already seeing an influx in calls for service this summer. What are some proactive things we can do or reactive things that we can do to kind of help clean the air that, that's in our house? So it's something that we've started to see more frequently here. Coming up in about 30 minutes, we dive into how all of this smoke and bad air is really playing a role in our bodies. Guys. Yeah, I'm sure it's not playing a great role when it comes to our bodies, no. but we'll talk to you in the next half hour. Cece Gaines reporting live. Thank you.